Good evening, everybody. I'm Michael Filigera. I am with LogicalSignals.com and TradersHelpingTraders.com. And this is the Elliott Wave update for the NASDAQ 100 for Wednesday, May 26th, 2021. Nothing really to report today. If you were trading, you realized market basically did this, went sideways, started to start to, to come down, reached the 50-day moving average, thought that was enough, and then just went back up and just stayed in a range all day. So now it's basically been in a range, or as we call it sometimes, a box of doom uh, since Monday. You know, Tuesday, actually early, uh, late Monday evening, very early Tuesday uh, morning. And that's the way it's been ever since. Now, it is going to break one direction or another. And right now, it seems to continue since they cap it at about 37, 24, 25, up to 28. So it's not getting above this high at 32. I think the high is 32 or, um, yeah, 38, actually. So it's not getting above that. And it really, if it's going to break above that, then it's going to give a clear indication that it's likely heading up to this next resistance zone before, again, it pulls back. But it's sure taken its time on this one. So the other scenario that it could be is that it's just going to finish by coming down in a C wave and likely just get back to 13,600, maybe a little bit below. I don't suspect that it would drop all the way back down to the 200 day moving average, but it certainly can and still be corrective in nature. And in fact, don't forget that the previous, you know, we still have the additional count that would show that this is ABC and this is coming down in a C wave. That's not off the boards yet. Although it continues to hold these higher levels, which signals more that the buying pressure continues to be to the upside. Since every time it gets sold, they kind of walk in and buy it back up. Now, different than the last couple of Globex sessions that started just in boosting the market higher, it is not doing that right now. It's not down very much, but it certainly is not up. Like yesterday, when we were making the update, the, the Dow was already up 100 in Globex. That's not occurring today. So that continues to now to lean a little bit more towards, yeah, maybe we'll get the finish of this uh, ABC correction. And then the rally will pick up again. And if indeed it is going to rally, don't forget that, that what I'm going to be looking for is for this to be finishing a minor fifth wave, which in turn finishes a little bit larger fifth wave. And so again, you know, we're, we're going to be working our way towards the completion. Um, and I'm going to call this open just a little bit so that we can take a peek as to what we're completing. So we're completing five waves of minor degree, which is going to complete a intermediate fifth wave, which is then going to complete a primary third wave. So we're still completing a third, needing a fourth, and then an additional fifth rally up. We've just changed the degree. So we're looking for a completion of an intermediate fifth wave, which consists of five waves of minor degree. And so we're trying to figure that this is likely the end of minor four, and we're in minor wave five, but we don't know quite yet if the third's going to finish up here. If this is the finish of the third, we're going to come down in a, in a four and then blast higher in what should be a very dynamic fifth wave. And it would be, in, in, in my mind, with the size that we're trying to finish and the wave pattern that we're trying to finish, that it might be blow off style. And that would not be surprising considering how the market trade has been trading often during the past several months. And so either way, I want us to be prepared because again, once it breaks out of this box of doom, folks, we should get back to some solid, decent trading where we get uh, bigger moves and able to you know, trade them and make more money than trading a sideways move, which is still tradable, but it's like, who cares? It's not really moving anywhere. And you're going to gather five points here. Maybe you get five points there. You still should be able to make money, but you can fall asleep waiting. Let me put it that way. In any case, I'm initially looking for downside tomorrow. I think that that's the way that this will resolve. If it breaks above 
13,720, 8, 20, you know, uh, uh, 13,730. Then we're likely going to finish and get up to that uh, 13,800 area. That would be my take. Breaking down, I'm thinking that we should get a drop back down to 13,600 completing. So don't forget, that's the, that would be the A wave, and this is all the B wave. And we're looking for a C wave down. So it's an ABC down. The low on this one was 13,006, almost 13,007. That's all it needs to do is get below there. So actually, this support zone would be able to hold and complete the move. And then we would start a rally. And again, then the announcement that the rally's in play would be a nice, strong bounce back up, getting back above what wherever that 50-day moving average is going to end up, and again, start heading for these highs without much interruption, hesitation, or problems. And that's where I'm going to leave it, and leave it by saying we continue to trade what is in front of us. We do the best we can during markets that are going to be basically choppy or range-bound. Sometimes it's worth even sitting them out. And uh, Pay attention to our moving averages. And our next update will be Thursday, the 27th.